Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll show the new option for creating chains called curve propagation. If we take a look in our geometry edit window, at the bottom we have a new option called curve propagation. If I were to activate it, you'll note that we automatically have lit up the both delta z and our newest option called tangent. Now, if we take a look at a part we have on our screen, you'll note that if I go around from the outside and I start from this edge over here, we have this area over here is both constant z and tangent, but this area over here is only tangent. We continue on over here, we have constant z over here on the same level, and over here we continue down in tangent. At this point over here, it's not tangent, and the z is on a different level as it goes up over there, but then continues on over here tangent, and then we have a regular z over there. So let's first start taking this geometry without making any kind of changes over here, just with the default of curve propagation. If I were to click on this edge over here, you'll note that it took the entire geometry in one click all the way down to this point over there. It stopped over here because this point already, the Z has changed its level. It's not a constant Z anymore. So I'll just click on this edge now to continue, and you can see that it completed the entire geometry as shown over here. Now, let's continue, and we'll delete what I did up until now, and we'll try a different option. This time, when I go into curve propagation, I'll have my delta Z tolerance, and you'll also note that my delta Z tolerance has now been put into a window immediately below it without clicking on a button to open it up, and I'll give it a tolerance of plus 9 millimeters. Since I know that the distance from here to there falls within that range. Now if I were to click on this edge over here, you'll note that it took the entire geometry in just one click. Now let me delete this geometry again, and let's go back into this option again. If I were to go back in here, if I want, I could also work only tangent or only delta z. If I work without any of them, then the curve propagation works just like a regular curve, starting from the first edge and then continuing down, just like your regular curve option. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.